What am I doing? That is unclear to me most of the time as well. everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Amy. Today I'm here to do my autumn readathon TBR for you all. This is a readathon being hosted by Mercedes from Mercy's Bookish Musings uh, in celebration of reaching 30,000 subscribers. I absolutely adore Mercedes' channel. Her videos are instant watches for me. She has great recommendations and I'm so excited to participate in this readathon. This readathon will be happening October 22nd through the 28th and Mercedes has six prompts, four main prompts and two bonus prompts. So if you're interested to see the books that I have selected that I hope to get to throughout the week, then go ahead and keep watching. The first main prompt is read a gothic slash spooky novel. I was hoping to get to Jane Eyre this month, but I don't think it's going to happen. And I feel that that book is just a little bit too big to read while trying to read quite a few other books in a week. So I decided to go for a YA book that technically will be a reread for me. It's been over 10 years since I've read this book, but I'm really excited to get to it again. And that is A Great and Terrible Beauty by Libba Bray. This is the story about Gemma, who her family is somewhat destitute. I don't exactly remember. And she ends up in London at a ladies finishing school type of things and some mysterious and weird things begin to happen. There's supernatural elements to this. I actually remember a decent number of the end number decent amount about the end of this book but I'm really excited to get to it because I have not read the second or third books in this trilogy so that is going to be my gothic and spooky book selection I don't read a lot of spooky things so I figured this would be a good place to start and with it being YA I will probably be able to get through it faster and the second prompt is pick a non-fiction book that feels autumnal or fall appropriate. And Mercedes interpreted this for herself as uh, nature reads or books about cooler places. I'm going to go a completely different route and this is a book I've been meaning to read for a while. But when I think about learning and specifically about my preschool, I feel very fall about it because that's when I go back to work and that's when I want to fill my cup with new knowledge to use in my classroom. So I'm hoping to get to The Importance of Being Little, What Young Children Really Need from Grown Ups by Erica Christakis. This is a book about the importance of play for children and it's also somewhat autumnal because it's orange. I'm gonna go with that too but for whatever reason, this book just feels autumn to me. I think it's because it is associated with learning to me, which seems very fallish because that's when we all get back to learning generally. So that's my nonfiction pick for this week. And the third prompt is a novel set in a cold location. I really, really struggled with this one, especially with the books that I had on my TBR. And once again, this one that I've picked might be a little bit of a stretch, but I really want to read this book. And I am planning on reading a Line Made by Walking, I believe it is. A Line is Made by Walking by Sarah Baum. This is a new book uh, that has been published this year. It is shortlisted, I believe, for the Goldsmith Prize. And this is the story about a girl named Frankie who's suffering from depression. She's an artist and she decides to go to her um, grandmother's house who has passed away and just try and recoup and get her feet back underneath her. And I know it's set in Ireland, so I'm going to go with the fact that Ireland is a much cooler place than where I live. I believe I looked I looked it up and it said the average temperature was 50 degrees Fahrenheit, and that's pretty cool, especially for that being an average. So I decided to go with this book. Again, it's probably a stretch, but I saw Simon's review on it, and I had picked it up before I saw Simon's review on it, but now I really, really want to get to it. And again, there's a fox and a robin bird thing on the front and that's also very autumnal for me so we're we're stretching it again but this is the book I plan to read for set in a cold location and the fourth book is or excuse me the fourth book well it is the fourth book but the fourth prompt is a historical fiction book and I'm going to go with Days Without End by Sebastian Barry. I've had this book for a while now I've been meaning to read it this was long listed for the man booker this year and this is about two soldiers in the civil war one is an Irish immigrant I don't remember where the other one is from I can't remember, but they develop a romantic relationship and also uh, adopt a young Indian girl into their family. And I've heard really, really good things about this book, although Mercedes did not enjoy it so much, but I'm still excited to get to it and read it, especially because I have not read a lot of LGBTQ plus fiction 
or anything really and I would like to start doing that and with this short little book I figured it would be a good place to start and also because I absolutely adore the Civil War era and learning about that especially when I was younger I read books about that all the time and I'm excited to get back into it and then the two bonus prompts I I'm going to try to read all of these also, but I'm not gonna make any guarantees. And you all know I'm terrible at TBRs, hence why the only time I do TBRs is for readathons. But I figure if I have the six, that gives me some options and some leeway to pick from. And it would be great if I get to all of these, but I'm not gonna make any promises. But I figured I'd pick a book for each prompt. And the first uh, bonus prompt is a short story collection. I don't have very many in my possession right now, but I did pick this one up recently, which is a proof copy of Men Without Women by Haruki Murakami. I have never read Murakami and I would really like to because I know he is a very, very popular modern author. And this book was translated from the Japanese by Philip Gabriel and Ted Goosen. I apologize, I didn't mention that. I don't know much about this, but it's a short story collection and it's only one of two that I currently have that I haven't read. And the other one is all about spring things. So I didn't really want to read this one, that one. So I picked this one and I'm excited to get to it because again, it's Mirakami and I think it's time that I jump on this bandwagon and see what it's all about. And the last prompt is to read an adult novel that is told or has a young girl protagonist in it because these are some of Mercy Mercy's Mercedes favorite books and I adore these books books that are from young girls point of views that are meant for adults I find very very interesting and I want to read so many more of them but I went with a recommendation of Mercedes which is the ta A Tale for the Time Being by Ruth Ozeki. I want to read this book anyways and it fits this prompt which makes me so excited. This is about a young girl in Japan named Now. I'm pretty confident it's Now but I don't look very confident uh, and she is struggling with depression and wants to end it all but before she did does so she wants to write this diary that she believes will eventually end up to the reader that it needs and after the tsunami in 2011 that happened in Japan the, her lunchbox with her diary washed up on shore I believe in Canada all I know it is is that it is the Pacific Northwest excuse me and a woman named Ruth let's see here Yes, Ruth. That was a little bit too difficult for me. Uh, Ruth finds it and becomes very involved with Now's story. So there you have it, you guys. There are six books that meet the six prompts for Mercedes readathon. I am so very, very excited to participate in this. I've only done one readathon on booktube so far, and that was the booktubeathon, and I had a really, really good time doing it. And all of these prompts are much more up my alley anyways. So I'm very, very excited to participate. So let me know if you guys are planning on participating or if you're potentially reading any of these books. I'd love to do a buddy read with you all or you've read these books and let me know what you think. So if you guys liked this video, please like it. And if you loved it, please subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Happy reading.